Hi guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're gonna go ahead and pick some peppers. We're gonna water in some stuff. And I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little quick update on how this stuff is doing. All right guys, so we're back. Got my clippers, got a container, a bin, and we're gonna clip some peppers. We're gonna go ahead and start over here with the corbachis. All right guys, so, here we are cooking some peppers. Something snap. So that's a good sign. Alright guys, so I hadn't really noticed how plant or how loaded these plants are. This thing is like insane. I mean check this out. We have the paprika peppers. We have you can see four of these ready to go. We have one, two, three, four, five, at least another five, six um, paprika peppers. Yeah, the runner beans are dead. I mean, they're toast. And check out these fish peppers. I actually, as I was setting this up, or rather putting these in, I accidentally knocked a branch off. But check out those leaves, those very good leaves. They're gorgeous. This one I'm taking into a friend at work. Check this thing out. This thing, I like, I literally had to put all this stuff up, but this stuff is loaded. I mean, like, so let me show you. Look at all these peppers in here. And look at all those white flowers ready to go. The corbachis, I mean, I had to stake those up too. I staked everything up. Um, I just put some into the top of the trellis here. That way, pull on it, it's kind of stable. Mm, excuse me. I got some clips in there. We have the Maya Red Habanero in the corner over here. So we can get in on that. It's starting to change color. These plants, these pots really need to be watered, but check this out. I'm thinking I might just sneak that bad boy back in there. And as I was moving it, I kind of just put it in between the, the stakes. I kind of, I thought I felt I, I thought I felt something like snap. So if part of that plant dies, I know why. But then you look at the buddy next door, and they're pretty yellow. So I'm not sure what the difference is. This is an arroz con pollo. Oh, check it out. We have peppers. I don't think the plant's supposed to be this color. <laughs> and this is a hog and melon. It's doing all right. These are the peppers that were ruined from last year. These little long ones here, the Peruvian ajis. Really spicy peppers. From what I've been told, this is the CGN, the one in the top right corner. Um, those I've had myself, and those are very spicy. We got the little red ones over here. These are the ají dulces, and then we have the blackberry. Um, triple, cr triple, something. Triple crown blackberry. But this growth is insane. I mean, don't tell me that you can't get stuff growing in a small space. That's just some of the corbachis. It's supposed to be sweet pepper. Now, you try and give me this line of, I don't have enough space, dude. Look at this. I mean, like, literally, look at this. I mean, this is insane. We have the peppers. We have the uh, melon and the peppers. And then this is a Cape Gooseberry, which has gotten pretty big. The, gr the top growth on it looks pretty good. Swing back. It is a little yellow. Yes, the leaves are kind of dry on this and no, I need to water. Um, and they probably need a lot of this stuff probably just needs to be picked. But like this stuff is just insane. So what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go harvest all this stuff, harvest what I can, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back. 
All right, so I went ahead and picked everything that was ripe, or close to being ripe. We got the paprika peppers, these big ones. We have the Peruvian ahis, we have the CJN21500, and the round ones, the red round ones, are the um, ahi dulces. These are your horbachis. Um, I'm not quite sure when to pick the fish pepper, so I'm gonna leave them on there and do a little more research. But these habaneros are looking, sorry, habaneros are looking pretty good. It looks like I missed a couple of the Peruvian ahis and a couple of the uh, other ones. So, let's go ahead and grab these right off. And then I'm going to, so we really need to get these guys watered in. Check out my beautiful zinnia. There's another one on the other side. Yeah, but I haven't watered them, so kind of dying on me. And we have some we have spiders, so it's always good to see like wildlife in the garden. So let's go check. In this backyard, yeah, this tree isn't looking good, but this uh, pomegranate tree looks amazing. I have a pomegranate forming. I don't see any others. I do see tons of blooms though, and I saw uh, bees on this not that long ago, a couple weekends ago when I was out here. Papayas are looking good, and that's what's left of my artichoke plant. So I have no idea what happened. We have a uh, sunflower just peeking. So. Oh wow, that blew that long. That was a massive loop. Then pull that out. And we're just gonna do that. I'm gonna water this stuff in. Probably need to pull these uh, calendulas. I never dead, uh, I think I'm dead headed them. I haven't watered back here in a few days, and like I said, this weather's been killer. We had some of these plants that were doing so well. I haven't refilled the grays, that's my fault, that's user error. Um, but everything else, it seems a little beat up, but I'm just gonna water everything in. And we're gonna go from there. I'll bring you guys back. All right, so I went ahead and watered everything in. We filled up the grays, which definitely needed it. I hadn't been out here in a few days. We got our harvest over there. We got everything watered and that's it. All right guys, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna sign off here. I just wanted to show you how much and how productive your garden can be in such a small space. I mean, that's only like two by eight. Oh, really quick, check it out. We have a melon. I hadn't seen that until just that moment. Check it out, we got a melon. All right. So that's it for now. I'm gonna go head out to the front yard and water that. And at least I'll have the oyas in there and we'll go from there. Catch you on the next one.